What's up guys? Earlier in the year with all the lockdowns, I was providing you guys with lots of at-home workouts, but I kind of got away from that. First off, because a lot of gyms have opened back up, and second, I've been putting in my own work doing jujitsu, doing my own runs, and then teaching my kids program and working out with them. But I do want to stay diligent on providing some at-home workouts, especially short ones that are 10 minutes, because you can do these just like that sort of impromptu workouts. And I want all these to serve a purpose. So today we're going to be burning down the shoulders. Why is it important to burn down the shoulders? Well, it makes it that much easier to keep your hands up, to not have them drop and drop and start to fade out the further you get in the fight or the further you get in a hard sparring class. So intro first guys, and then we will jump right into the shoulder conditioning workout. For the at-home workout guys, I like to keep the amount of tools that we need down to a minimum. So I'm not going to ask you guys to get any hand weights or anything like that. An easy way to increase the weight on the arms is just to grab a pair of gloves. So I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab these lovely K1 gloves today. I'm going to throw these on and these will just provide a little bit more weight. If you guys need to run off and grab your gloves, just pause the video. I would suggest, depending on how you want to condition your arms, if you want to be really mean, get your 16 ounce gloves. If you want something a little smaller, I'm only rocking eights today. These are just little, ah, they're so hard, little K1 eight ounce gloves. So just half a pound. If I really wanted to burn down, I could go bigger, but I'm not getting ready for a fight at this moment. So I'm not too concerned about my shoulder conditioning peaking out. And all you guys are going to do with me is follow along. We're going to do five minutes nonstop. We're going to take a short pause for a water break, and then we will jump right back in and complete the rest of the workout. So we have a whole 10 minutes. Your goal is to drop the least amount of times as possible. So if our arms are out or if we're punching up or whatever we're doing and you have to go, oh, okay, that's no good. We wanna get through that. We wanna learn to just hold it up no matter how bad it is. And then once we can do that or we can keep punching up or whatever we're doing, it's so much easier to just hold our hands up high and always bring our hands back to our head. If you can't do that, you can't protect your head. You're gonna have issues in sparring or the fight. So guys, if your gloves are on and you're all set, Let's get started. All right, time in and arms up. And we're just from here, gonna just float our arms up, down, up, down. If I go slow, it's not too hard. So try to go for some speed. Make it almost like a twitch muscle up, down thing. You won't get it really fast, but that's what you're trying for. And that'll burn our shoulders up that much quicker. Focus on deep breathing. Going from about ear level, just below jaw level. Keep the arms locked, pause, hold for 10 seconds. Once we're done holding for 10 seconds, we're gonna bring our palms to meet together in front of our body and then right back out to this position. And go, not too fast, a little pause at each point. As I draw my arms back, I squeeze my shoulder blades together. Surprising how quickly uh, the first minute goes and then Bit by bit, the minutes get longer and longer. They seem like they get longer. We're already one minute in, but we're doing five minutes. Got another five seconds here. Beginning is the easy part. And go to your fighting stance and punch up. You don't have to look up. By lifting your chin, you just keep your head neutral and just glance up like you're looking up at your eyebrows. Nice full extension on the arms, hands ball right back to the cheeks, and just keep punching up. We just want to learn to stay consistent with that shoulder fatigue and be able to fight through it and not have to take those arm shakeouts. If I'm fighting somebody and I see them shake out their arms, I go, oh, that's a point for me. He's going to fade out before I do. You want to be able to, even if your arms are fading out, not to show it. Almost like you got your poker face on. And let's change it to uppercuts. Fairly fast ones. We won't worry about pulling back to our head. We're just trying to pump the arms up and down and just increase that shoulder burn. 20 seconds here. So it's good for me to do these drills with you guys because I get to keep up on my shoulder conditioning. Five seconds, and we're gonna go back to placing our arms out to the side, and up, and instead of ear level, we're going up to top of head level. Just hold it there. 
halfway through our first five minute round. Breathe deep. When the arms start to really fade out, you want to teach yourself that you can do it and not just drop every time it gets a little bit hard. And let's drop down to ear level, or sorry, chin level. Let's go arm circles backwards. Let's go back to speed. You got less than two minutes. And arm circles forwards. Think of it as the last round in your two, or sorry, in your amateur fight. It's the last round. You're probably doing three rounds. You got one more. Hands have to stay tight to your head. When you can hold your hands up and not need breaks, there's less chance of people tagging you because you fatigue and you cannot protect your head properly. Fight right through. No break. I'm starting to feel it myself. And pause. Next one, we're going to go to our fighting stance. We're going to go straight punches, but not towards the ceiling, just right towards the screen or me right towards the camera. We're going to go for 20 seconds and go. I like to go from those motions where we're holding to now punching where I have to fight through the pain and still try to get some speed up now. Elbows tight. Don't let them flare up. Still twist your hips. Hold in front. We're gonna butter or sorry, flutter our arms up and down for 10 seconds as fast as you can. Ready and go. I got a timer just off to my right. That's why I keep looking off to the side, checking our time. And pause. We got 30 seconds more, then we take our break. Next one, we're going to crisscross our arms as fast as we can. 10 seconds, then we'll do a 10 second hold. Go. And then we're done. Whoa. Got the burn. Keep it up, keep it up. Hold. Your arms are shaking. If they're, if they're actually just shaking away, I don't care. You hold it up. Fight through the pain. Time. Guys, get a sip of water. Take a rest. We'll take about one minute here and just relax. If you need to, you can stretch, roll out your shoulders. If you got through that first round without dropping, it's spectacular. We're only going for a one minute break, just like the fight. And then we're gonna repeat a second time. And here we go guys, 20 seconds. If you need to get your gloves back on because you're taking a water break, throw them back on, make sure you're ready. 10 seconds. My shoulders are feeling it. A little bit of a burn there. This is where we fight through on the second round. This is where the real champions are made now. And up and out. We're going to open our hands as much as we can and we're going to close through the glove. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Same thing in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Hands up to the head, jabbing as fast as you can. Go. Other hand stays tight. Tight to the head. We're gonna, in a second, switch. We're just gonna pivot to the side and we're gonna jab off our other hand, which means the other leg needs to take the lead. And switch. Try not to move your other hand, it just locks to your head. And uppercuts, just like we did before. It's fast. Punching straight up. You can punch like this. There's no reason you can't make it through your rounds in a fight. Two minutes, probably doing three of them, maybe five if you're fighting for a title. If you can keep up with this, you can make it through those, at least shoulder-wise. Then there's still cardio and leg conditioning to take care of. And up and out at your level. We're just holding steady. Arms are locked. Same thing, we're gonna pull them up in front of our eyes and hold them around eye level. We are 
are just at two minutes in now. Good, I want you to bend your elbows, hands out in front, and a little pulse up and down. When you go up, go as high as you can. It makes it so much harder. I can already feel my traps just exploding in pain. If I go like this, not so bad. It's up as high as I can. Flare those elbows up. Whew. Ha. Ah. Halfway through our second round. Whew. Hold it up. Pause it at max height. Hold there for 10 seconds. And alternating hooks. Oh, we got the burn now. Up through the traps and the shoulders. Try to keep the pace fast. Straight punches up. Only got two minutes more. Again, just like last round, think of the last two minutes as your final round in the fight. There's no dropping now. Straight punches in front. Pick it up on the speed. Change it to uppercuts. Go to the side. We're finishing this round with holds or fast uppercuts. On the fast uppercuts, you're gonna explode with everything you have. Imagine it's a, it's a frantic, like Ryan Garcia paced uppercuts where you're just trying to get as many off as you can. You can probably get somewhere between four and five uppercuts per second. All right. 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, starting with uppercuts, and go! Out, breathe, we got one minute left. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Back to uppercuts, go! Speed! And out. Make sure you breathe through this part. Recover. And go. Last 30 seconds. Out. This is the last hold. And then the last set of straight punches follow. Three. Two, one, everything you have. Three, two, one, and down. Oh boy. All right. Like I said, guys, if you can get through that drill and not have a fail, not have to drop because your arms are so fatigued, your shoulders are so fatigued, you're doing a very good job. You're setting yourself up to be able to make it through sparring rounds or fight, a full fight, without having to drop. It's so important, it's something I've worked on ever since I had my first amateur fights where I went, oh, my arms are so heavy. Now my arms don't get heavy because I do these types of drills. Guys, do me a favor in the comments below, let me know if you want me to continue with these style of workouts. We can do ones for the legs, the stomach, the arms. If it's something you still want, short little impromptu workouts that you can do at home. I can put more together, but I need to know if it's something you guys want. So a little comment would be great. If you guys enjoyed the workout today, give the video a like. If you haven't already, get subscribed. Train hard guys, I'll see you back here soon for another video.